Our distinguished guest for today's function is Professor Alok Kumar Rai, the Honorable Vice Chancellor of Lucknow University, an avid academician and a prominent figure in management education. Professor Rai holds expertise in the areas of customer relationship management, marketing management, and entrepreneurship development. As Vice Chancellor of Lucknow University, his key priority is to enhance the educational framework in the university and streamline it with the expectations of modern learners. His efforts are constantly directed towards creating a culture of conscientiousness in the university. We are indeed honored by your kind presence, sir, and would request you to please step forward and enlighten us by your talk on decoding the role of teachers in education for regime. Thank you, madam. Thank you very much. Most respected vice chancellor, Cakes George Medical University, pro vice chancellor, Dean Academics, professor who said he is going to retire in coming 10 days. I say a teacher never retires. So you're not retiring. Dear friends and students, a very happy Teacher's Day to all of you. Interestingly, what I saw on the board is it's a Teacher's Day celebration. And the title that the madam comparing said was sounding too academic. Now, a celebration with heavy loaded content might not gel well. So what I'll do is I'll shift the focus onto something which I can talk about and you can easily digest. But I'll share some interesting uh, observations of teachers in my life from different subject areas. A professor of computer science in an institute, I saw her when a student was asking about the programming issue, she solved it. Student was repeatedly asking, Madam, mujhe bata dije, ye kaise hoga? And she was solving it. Student left. I asked her, Ki aap ye bata deti? आपका झंझट खत्म हो जाता है यू नो एक बार बता दो कि हम बता देंगे तो कल से मेरे पास कैसे आएगा ये टीचर वन टीचर टू रिलेटिव ऑफ माइन हु हैज बीन अ ग्रेजुएट ऑफ दिस इंस्टीट्यूशन ग्रेट इंस्टीट्यूशन ओनली फ्रॉम वाराणसी हु वॉज परस्यूइंग हिज एम सी एच from Banaras Hindu University. I won't reveal other details. He said, in my batch of MCH, because uh, the MCH students, they would be looking for ki kitna zada case karne ko mile, utna zada hum, hamari practice ho, utni zada learning ho. And the teacher would not provide them the opportunity. So they, he said, laughingly, we used to talk among ourselves, jo unka subject area tha, that I don't want to name, कि ये डिसिप्लिन इनके साथ ही दुनिया से चला जाएगा शी इज सो पॉजिटिव अबाउट दिस आई हैव सीन वी हैव एट आई एम प्रोफेसर एट बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी वी हैव अ वेरी फेमस इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेडिकल साइंसेज विच रिसेंटली गॉट अपग्रेडेड टू द एम्स लाइक इंस्टीट्यूशन स्टेटस सो वी डू लॉट ऑफ कोलेबोरेटिव प्रोजेक्ट विद मेडिकल इंस्टीट्यूट इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कम्युनिटी मेडिसिन there was a professor i will again won't name him and an md student the md student used to work uh, for the dissertation i was one of the co supervisor so in one of the discussion when i went to his department we were sitting the way professor was treating well, even i was feeling bad so when i came out of the room i i told that fellow ke bhai aisa hota hai teacher log aise hote hain i thought ki usko bahut bura na lag raha ho this is teacher 3 then there is teacher 4 a uh, professor in my subject area at an iit where 
the department is at fifth floor of the building. She very proudly was telling me once that she said, you know, research scholars, they keep showing you their uh, progress reports. I said, I did it out of Now, I don't know if they qualify to be a teacher. But then, these are facts of life. Let us not conclude, let us not deduce, let us not be judgmental, let us not try to derive meaning based on this simple data, because these are simple data. If I ask you, how many of you have got smartphones who are sitting here? Almost everyone? Almost everyone. Very interestingly, when Professor Chaturvedi was speaking, I did not find even a single one using it. Though I was amused, I was constantly on my cell. This is how life has become. And this is how the practices have become. Before coming to this hall, I was sitting with the Vice Chancellor and he was sharing an experience how uh, difficult these mobile phones have made the life and then WhatsApp goes, uh, aapke colleagues honge US mein to wahan bhi chali gai ki dekhe sahab aapke khane ki uh, plate kahan rakhi hai aapki university mein. This is what is industry 4.0. From industrial revolution 1, 2, 3 and 4, modern industries are highly, highly technology oriented. Now, what is the impact of this change in the culture of the industry? The net result is we are finding a society 4.0 where I am speaking and I might be speaking live. If the program was at my university, it would have been going on my university's YouTube channel. So I might be speaking live. Even if I make a small mistake here, that is going to be there all through my life. Because digital data is immortal. Had this not been the case, what would have happened is, I would have said 2-4 lines wrong, then I would have said, I misquoted, I would have said, I would have said, I would have said, but then, digital data is immortal. So it will remain forever. So industry 4.0, is leading us to society 4.0 and it is the society where we are getting our students from and we are sending our students to. So our education also has to be education 4.0. So this industry 4.0 needs student 4.0 and a very interesting uh, fact that you might, you all might have observed that education is one very, very peculiar industry where student is the product and student is the customer. This is probably the only industry where student is the product. Inni ko to aap bhaar bhej rahe? Inni ko aap bhej rahe? Bhaar? Samaj ke liye? Or inni ko aapko attract karna hai? See, the very purpose of any educational institution is student. So, samaj se aaye huye bachche ko wapis samaj mein value dal ke bhejna hai. Tabhi institution ki value hai. And any institution is actually offers a value preposition. We subscribe value. Now, value is simple, benefit upon cost. What leading institutions are doing, what great institutions are doing, that they are focusing on the numerator and not denominator. To increase value, we have got two options. Either increase numerator or reduce denominator. Smart institutions play both ways. Now, how to increase value? And when will this be perceived if we are adding value. It is only through our students. This is what Honorable Vice Chancellor just informed me that we have some students 
also present right here in the hall. So I'm addressing this issue. And very important is, since these students are our product, a lot of studies in past 20 years across discipline conducted in India talked not about unemployment or issue of employment, but they talked about issue of employability. And this is across discipline. So this issue of employability has to have the value that are being infused in the students who are our customers. And this is where the tricky role of customer comes because we are going to get customers from Society 4.0, impart value and make them a valuable product which is again accepted by Society 4.0. For what we require is Education 4.0. Now what does this Education 4.0 mean? In common parlance, the most simplest interpretation of this Education 4.0 is infusion of technology, primarily digital technology, we talk of artificial intelligence, we talk of machine learning, we talk of IoT, we talk of robotics. Infusion of these technologies, largely digital technologies, in the domain of education. And we all must have experienced the very significance of this during last one and a half years of COVID. So, are we readying ourselves to match the curriculum and pedagogical framework responses to this infusion of digital technology? What role will digital technology play? What difference will there be in the overall student learning experience? There was a movie, uh, Tanu Vets Manu. And the male protagonist of the movie says ki maine MBBS kiya, fir maine engineering ki, fir maine MBBS kiya. Now, while watching the movie, I, I said, ye kya bekoofi hai? Because the, the common perception of the society is, bacha after engineering, after intermediate, either goes for medical or engineering. Then he says, कि मैंने इंजीनियरिंग करी मैंने एमबीबीएस किया इंजीनियरिंग करी मतलब दोनों आगे पीछे एंड अभी मैं पेस मेकर बनाता हूं इंग्लैंड में दिस इज व्हाट सच काइंड ऑफ इनफ्यूजन इन मॉडर्न एजुकेशन इज नॉट लीडिंग टू कंफ्यूजन बट टू डिसीजन एंड दिस इज व्हाट इज द वेरी वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स फ्रेमवर्क दैट इज कमिंग अवे now, what is the role of the teacher in this? Now, the teacher very categorically has to work towards identifying the key affordances and challenges of Education 4.0. The challenges to establish pedagogies and course design. Do these potentially disruptive technologies present to the present set of course of education? How the institutions need to redesign curricula to support lifelong learning, online learning, and also developing skills to make our products, that is our students, future ready. And also what practical lessons can be learned from early adopters. I don't know the state of adoption of these specific digital technologies in the education at KGMU, but then if there are institutions who have already infused this into the system, what can we learn from the early adopters? Very interestingly, in Education 4.0, it is giving birth to a new form of higher learning institutions, which is intellectually agile. So, to survive, the modern students need 
critical thinking and problem solving, unlike the conventional uh, model of, of, of learning. Then collaboration across networks and leading by influences. Very important across discipline, the effective communication, creativity, curiosity, and imagination, agility and adaptability, initiative and entrepreneurship, and assessing and analyzing information. Because when I said in the first part is that what all I'm saying, the four cases that I talked about are data. Now these data are not information. So let us not jump onto conclusion based on the data. So this is one very important thing that students have got to be trained into to differentiate data with information and develop the ability to convert data into information. As teacher, we all must have had different teachers in our life. We all must have had different learnings from, from our teachers. One of the teacher of mathematics that I uh, attended class of, I learned him that class mein board kaise saaf karte hai. And it was so particular, so particular. Matlab, ek baar likh ke wo saaf kar de, to aisa lage ekdam naya board ho gaya. So, one teacher taught me how to engage students in the class. Some certainly taught us how important is the conceptual clarity of what we are teaching in the class is. Some issues, Professor Chaturvedi was very appropriately and very subtly pointing out the involvement of teacher in the life of student and the impact that it does make. But with all these changes taking place in the field of education, are we receptive enough? Are we receptive enough? एक कहीं गांव में मंदिर बन रहा था, तो एक बाहर से आदमी आया, उसने पूछा कि साहब आप काम क्यों नहीं कर रहे? तो उसने कहा साहब भूख लगी, भूखे पेट कहीं काम होता है। तो थोड़ी देर बाद वो काफी देर बाद आया कि खाना वाना खा लिया हो, फिर देखा वो आदमी वैसे ही पड़ा हुआ है। तो बोले आप काम नहीं कर रहे हैं, अब तो खाना खा लिया आपने? क्या बताइए खाना खा के काम होता है? So if we are we are we receptive enough to all these changes that are taking place in the in the in the, in the ecosystem, and are we changing our institution? That is why I talked about intellectual agility. This receptivity, all these changes are coming before us. Are we ready to accept this? Are we ready as a teacher? Are we ready to inculcate competence, the character of competence among our students? Now, how do we define competence? It is a mix of three things. Of course, one knowledge. But, to humne bataya gaadi kaise chalti hai. Clutch hota hai, accelerator hota hai, brake hota hai, steering hoti hai, gear hota hai. This is knowledge. Then skill. How to use that knowledge. But very, very important and probably the most important and this is why one professional is different from other. This is what makes one professional different from other is the motive. So knowledge, skill and motive creates competence. Are we as a teacher working towards and being successful in cultivating the character of competence in our customers who are our students? So, are we doing that? This is one very, very important issue that we all have got to ponder upon. This, the dynamics of the ecosystem is leading to the changes. I would urge you all to be ready to take that into your stride and make the education 4.0 built into the system of the institution to be an agile institution and then only we shall be able to produce the product 
for society 4.0 this is all from my side thank you for providing me an opportunity to come before you all and share my views a very happy teachers day to you all thank you